guys, Gerson here from TSM, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Azir vs Fizz. The runes I like to run for Azir are Magic Pen Reds, HP Scaling Yellows, AP Scaling Blues, and Flat AP Quents. If you're a little less experienced in this matchup, you can run Flat MR Blues since it does help a lot against Fizz All In and just general bursts. But if you're more of an experienced Azir player, I say go AP Scaling, it really does pay off later. Of course, have the AP scaling. It's just the best seals right now. It it definitely really helps out throughout the game. Of course, magic pen reds and AP coins are really standard and flat AP coins. For the masteries, as always on AP champs, I like to go with 2109. It is just the best page right now, and it's just the one I prefer the most. So, just try to maximize the amount of AP you can get and get mana region. For the skill order, I like to go W level one because it's simply just the only spell you can take. For level 2, even though Fizz is a melee matchup, I think Q is just the best way to go. It helps you slow him after he's traded you, or potentially even poke him from afar. Uh, so I think Q is still the best option to go second. At level 3, I definitely recommend E, because when he gets in your face, you can really get back up in with the trade. It, your E does damage, it also gives you a shield that's going to be really good for you in these close range melee fights. At level 4, still go Q, because you want to be maxing Q. After maxing Q, Go W second, I prefer it overall because it reduces the cooldown of the soldiers, which is helpful th throughout the game, but mostly in team fights. And last, Maxi, of course, and get all whenever you can. For the item build on Azir, I start Doran Swing. It's just a, generally the best option for AP champions, it gets HP, uh, AP, and mana region. It's a really helpful item overall. For the first item, I like to be a bit greedy and go for Morellos and not go for the Magic Assist. Uh, for Azir, you can generally use your E to stay alive and use your ult to peel off the Fizz, but the Morello really does pay off. It's a cheap item, it gives a ton of AP, and most importantly, very, very cheap CDR. After the Morellos, you can either go for another Morellos, which I do like to go, but if you're not a big fan of that, uh, you can go for Zonias, Void Staff, or Death Cap. Zonias is actually a really good defensive item against Fizz, because he has a lot of spells that are easy to dodge. For example, you can Zonias his Fish, you can Zonias his uh, E, his, his Pole, uh, the Trickster. Uh, both of those are very easy to zone yes, and it pretty much eliminates like a third of his damage if you do so. So one Morellos into possibly another Morellos, other than that zone yes, Death Cat Void Staff in whatever uh, order you'd like. You generally want to get your boost after your first item, which is usually the Morellos. So after Morellos, I like to go Sword Boots. Some people prefer CDR Boots, but it also depends what the rest of your build is going to look like. If you're going for the second Morello, always go Sorcerer Shoes. Going for one Morellos, the CDR versus Magic Pen really depends on your play style. At level one, you want to make sure you can try to push up the wave without him getting the free uh, Trickster jump on you. Um, pretty much, I can recommend putting the soldier around your melee creep so that if he does E onto you, you have your soldier around you to hit him. So just try to get the level two first, but don't take too much damage in the process. Fizz is usually going to go for the E trade at level one since he generally has more pushes with the five start. Um, at level 2, you'll be getting your Q, so you should have an advantage uh, if you get level 2 before him. At that point, you can start pushing him out of lane, start pushing up the wave, and his E cooldown is extremely long, so you have a lot of time to open damage on him. Around the level 3 and 4, Fizz is going to be looking for a lot more trades, and he's going to look to go in on you. So around then, you should try to play safe. Remember to use your E at the right time. If he goes in on you, you can either use it on his initial Q and get your knockup damage and shield there, or you can wait after he's used the combo and chase with your QE. It really depends how you like playing the lane, but both work pretty well. You need to be able to use your E well against Fizz, but not just use it mindlessly in case the enemy jungler ganks you. Um, around level 4, you can really start poking Fizz and use your range, uh, range to be superior, so make sure you use your Q and max range to poke out Fizz. At this point, Fizz E is going to start doing a lot of damage, so the only real way he can win the trade is if you let him get the Q range into the E trade, or if you let him engage with you uh, with E. So, again, just stay at max range. Azir doesn't have the greatest matchup against Fizz until he gets his ultimate, but you can still stay on range, make sure he doesn't get the free trades, and you can still win trades with your poke. At the level 6, you just need to be wary. Azir's ult does cost a decent amount of mana, so make sure that if he's all inning you, you still have mana for your whole combo, including your ult to escape. But depending on how low you are, you might have to back. Just be careful, because at level 6, Fizz is generally going to look for a trade. One thing that can be really hard to pull off, but can essentially win you the lane for free, is dodging Fizz's ultimate using your WE combo. So 
pretty much it's really hard to react to, but if you're ready all the time, if you sit there and you know he's going to throw his fish at any given point, just be ready to WE, because if you dodge it, you win the lane for free. There's no way he can all in you. There's no way he can do heavy trades. You win from now. Thanks for watching the Solo Lane Tactics Guide. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Bjergsen.